Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, travel planning, holidays. Uh, we're going into a very busy season here in the Philippines and around the world is for that matter. And I'm going to talk about some of the factors that are going to affect your, tr uh, your travel plans if you're flying to the Philippines or if you're flying or taking trips around the Philippines. Uh, we have uh, a number of holidays coming up. Uh, we've got uh, the Southeast Asia Games going on here in uh, the Philippines, up in the Manila and New Clark City uh, area. You have All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Uh, All, S All Saints Day, uh, November 1st, and that's a holiday. It's Friday, and uh, I think uh, Saturday is also a, a special non-working day. Uh, and then there's going to be millions of people traveling. Filipinos love to travel back to their provinces, and uh, you'll find that they're uh, visiting the cemeteries and paying respect to their uh, their deceased members of their families. And the Southeast Asian Games, let me just start uh, there, November 30th to through December 11th. 11 nations, over 9,800 athletes, 56 sports events in uh, three cluster areas. Metro Manila, NCC, which stands for New Clark City, and the Subic area. Uh, there's going to be 1,115 Filipino athletes. Uh, the last time they hosted these games, back in 2005, they won the overall championship. They hope to uh, repeat that, that event. Anyway, that's going to affect a lot of travel in those areas. going to affect the availability of hotel rooms and Airbnb rooms, as well as uh, the prices, I'm sure. Also, a lot of those people who are coming to the Philippines to attend those games will probably be tourists after after the games, before or after the games. Uh, so that's going to bring in uh, possibly millions of people here. All Souls Day is a huge event in uh, the Philippines with uh, them being 80% uh, 80, 80 uh, Catholic here. And uh, they will come out in huge numbers and they will visit uh, visit the cemeteries, and they will they will bring their food and their tents, and many of them will stay there uh, over overnight, one or two days, and uh, they pretty much live in the cemetery. This I, I took at a Chinese cemetery in Cebu City uh, a couple of years ago, and I did a uh, did a video about uh, living in a cemetery, I believe. And uh, this is not during the holiday. During the holiday, this place will be packed. And uh, another good thing about it is that uh, they bring out the security personnel, the, uh, the Philippine police and the Philippine uh, the PNP, the uh, national police, and as well as Army and Navy uh, people to uh, help secure the different areas. And you'll find that uh, the entrances to the cemeteries are manned by... Uh, by military personnel, our police personnel, uh, usually. And I believe they probably have a lot of uh, undercover people as well watching that. Uh, they've instituted some special security situations at, for instance, uh, the bus terminal in, in uh, the South Bus Terminal, downtown Cebu City, where no ticket, no entry. It used to be just, you'd go and get on the bus and uh, you'd buy your ticket after the bus left. You'd pay for it. And now they've, uh, they're forcing them to set up stands outside of the bus terminal so that you have to buy your ticket before you get into the terminal, which is good because they had no control on who was going into the terminal previously. These buses often get uh, very busy on weekends when uh, the Filipinos get their one or two days off as people go back to their provinces. Uh, but uh, come a holiday, I, I, a couple of years ago, I took a trip on uh, Easter holiday with some people. And uh, I think we waited, uh, we waited about an hour and a half. There were buses there, and they just kept filling up, filling up, filling up. About an hour and a half uh, later, we finally got on a bus. So first of all, here's a list of uh, holidays and special non-working days. Um, you should take, probably take a picture of this and keep it on your phone or someplace. Uh, make a copy of it uh, because.
because we have lots of holidays and additional special non-working days down there at the bottom. Now, right here as I'm doing this uh, in a couple of days, uh, November 1st, All Saints Day. And uh, normally all government offices are closed on these non-working days. Uh, most businesses, I believe, in most parts of the Philippines are open, but you need to check on that. Uh, uh, banks may or may not be open. And then each province, each city and each province can have its own special holidays as well. Uh, there was a, a day this past year that I went to immigration on a Monday, and uh, Cebu had a had a I think a founding celebration every year on a particular day. The holidays that they do not have listed here are a couple of Muslim holidays, uh, at least two, maybe more. Uh, that are not listed here and uh, where government offices are closed and at the present time uh, Muslim holidays are the only holidays other holidays that we observe we don't have any observations for uh, for Hindu holidays Buddhist holidays uh, Taoist holidays and uh, hundred more religious organizations holidays in other news important news uh, in the last uh, day or so, uh, we've had a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake uh, in the Philippines, in Mindanao. And uh, I think there's about seven people that have been confirmed that died in that earthquake. About two weeks ago, they had a similar size earthquake uh, in that general area, I believe, in, in the southern Mindanao, Davao area. And I think it also killed about seven different people. And uh, this is an interesting site, Earthquake Track Plus. You can sign up uh, for information and alerts. Just give them your uh, email address and uh, uh, get set up a password. And uh, it's a nice site because they don't uh, they don't use ads. Uh, but anyway, it tells you. Uh, for instance, in the last, a little more details about the earthquakes, aftershocks over here, and gives you a map here, there again, that you can zoom in or out of to give you a, uh, let you know what part of the Philippines it's in. You can also do searches up here, quakes near, uh, wherever you want to look, and check out the whole world. So it's uh, one of a number of earthquake apps. Uh, I use an app called uh, Volcanoes and Earthquakes on my phone as well. And each of these colored circles, I think, represents a, uh, the zone of how it's felt. And, and actually, even this Camigan Island up here, uh, John has a, has a website there. I read that uh, they felt it up there, so it'll be interesting to hear from him. John at uh, an American expat in the Philippines. The Philippines has had a number of earthquakes uh, under under six in the last uh, uh, few months, and uh, this area north of, uh, in fact, this area north of uh, Luzon, part of Luzon, but the Batanes Islands up here, they had a, a devastating earthquake. Uh, did did substantial damage up there. That's a popular uh, tourist area as well. I've been living here in Cebu, and I have felt uh, three very small earthquakes in the four years that I've been here. Uh, back in 20, uh, 2013, they had a, a pretty large earthquake was uh, centered uh, just off of Bohol here, this Bohol Island, and uh, I think it did damage to one, one building uh, here. They also had a typhoon in 2013, so between them they did did some damage across this area. That was one of the few typhoons that uh, was able to sneak through these areas and do some damage in northern Cebu Island and all these areas, these areas that face the Pacific over here. We also have the Christmas season, of course, and we have uh, New Year's. Uh, many of the different cities have uh, have different types of festivals uh, throughout the different months. Um, uh, here in Cebu City, we've got the huge Sinalog Festival, and it uh, 
pretty much goes through the middle of uh, uh, starts about the second week of of January and culminates on the third Sunday of January and uh, parades and solemn processions and uh, all kinds of events going on during that period of time uh, so if you're if you're going to a city to an area understand that you should book your hotels early uh, at the, when you try to do it at the last minute the prices are going to be very very high if you can f even find a place for that uh, I've had a guy last uh, last year a couple people asked me to recommend places to stay uh, like two weeks before the festival and that's just almost impossible I'm sure they end up staying uh, quite a ways out of town probably so keep those things in mind and uh, safe travels to you all and uh, thank you for watching. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.